welcome back to grade 12 biology genetics chapter playlist we have been learning about basics of genetics mendelian laws co-dominance incomplete dominance sex determination in different organisms and so on in the previous videos links for all those videos are there in description below before we go to today's topic if you find my videos useful please subscribe to the channel and like the videos please do share with your friends so that they can learn along Today's topic is linkage. So what exactly is meant by linkage and who was a person who did some experiments to find out what linkage is. So all that started with a person called P.H. Morgan. He did his experiments on fruit flies, otherwise called as Drosophila melanogaster, the scientific name to be underlined. If you're writing separately, both words to be underlined. That's your one mark there. All right. So what is it that um, Morgan did? He did a dihybrid cross. Between, so obviously you remember what is dihybrid cross? Dihybrid cross is a cross where two characters are studied. Here, body color, eye color. Two characters are being studied, dihybrid cross. And in case of this, he knew that these genes which are responsible for body color as well as eye color were found on the X chromosome. So you know females have two X chromosomes and male has only one X chromosome and that is exactly the reason these genes are represented on these lines. These lines represent the X chromosome here two of them because it's a female and here one X chromosome because it's a male. The other Y chromosome is represented. However, no genes are shown on it as you can see. One more thing to take into consideration is that representation of genes. When we talk about Mendelian genetics, we used to represent the dominant characters first letter in the capital form. So in this case, this is the dominant character. Whenever we talk about wild type, that is the dominant character. In this case, it is brown body and red eye, which is found in the male in this case. All right. So that's the dominant character. So we should have been taking capital BB and capital RR and cap small BB and small RR, isn't it? However, in this case, we don't do that. Instead, we take the recessive traits first letter, both cases Y and W we take. And we use it as such for the recessive trait and with a plus for the dominant trait. So in this case, you can easily guess which is the dominant trait. Brown body, red eye. Brown is represented by right now Y and plus. And red is represented by W and plus. Please keep this in mind. All right. So what is it that uh, Morgan did? Morgan crossed these two organisms, a female having yellow and white. Um, your yellow body and white eye, by the way, and male who is having brown and red. All right. So he expected what? He expected that the F1 generation, like in the Mendelian cross, he expected that the dominant trait would show up in all of the progenies that are produced in F1. That is what used to happen in case of Mendelian genetics, isn't it? But in this case, as you can see, it was not just the dominant characters that showed up. Instead, both were there in equal amount, but reversed. That is, female had wild type, that is brown body and red eye, and male had yellow and white cross. All right. So that was what he observed. That's not done. Now, in case of F2 progeny, in case of Mendelian cross, what do we expect? We expect that the dominant traits would be there nine times. Dominant plus recessive 3 times 3 times 1. That is why we have a 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. So what should be the expected thing? Expected thing is brown red 9 times, brown and white 3 times, yellow and red 3 times and yellow and white only one time it should show, show up among the 16 times that you get, 16 progenies you get. So you get a 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 phenotypic ratio. Uh, sorry, uh, phenotypic ratio in case of the F2 generation of Mendelian crosses. However, you can see here that's not what happened. Instead, he found that out of 100 progenies produced, 
98 of them are wild type and yellow white. What is wild type? Brown red. Brown and red. He found that 98 times he got either brown red or yellow white and two times he got only the other combination that is the recombinants. What are recombinants here? Brown and white, yellow and red. Those are called as recombinants. He got only this much. It's not exactly 2% and 98%. It is 98.7 times the parental type. What is parental type? Whatever you took as a parent, this and this. This can come, either this can come or this can come. 98% of the time he got that only and rest of the time he got the recombinants. Now why is that? This is because of a phenomenon called as linkage. So what exactly is linkage? Linkage means if two genes are very near to each other on the same chromosome, especially sex chromosome, they will not separate during gamete formation and that is called as linkage. Please read the definition once. Let's see whether Morgan stopped there or he continued. He definitely continued with another cross, all right, of a similar type. Again with Drosophila melanogaster itself. What was that cross? The cross was here white color body and wing shape. Alright. So two characters again he took. In case of female this was the character. And in case of male this was the character. Again it followed the same pattern. That is in F1 he expected the dominant trait to show up. But that's not what happened. He got both. In F2, he expected 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. That also didn't happen. Instead, he got a parental type more than the recombinant type. But it was not 98 and 2 proportion. Instead, here it was around 63 and 37. Okay. So, what, what was different in the other case and this case? In the first case, that is cross A, you can see that in the case of cross A, 98% parental. But in this case, it was only 62. What is different? What is different is the distance between the genes. In the previous case, look at the genes. How are they? They're very closely associated. Y and W are just next to each other. But in this case, they are a little far apart. So he realized that linkage is also proportional with distance between the genes. If the genes are very close to each other, that means the linkage is more. They do not separate during gamete formation. So, if you get a question, when is linkage seen more or things like such a question you get, you have to write the proximity of the genes. That is, the genes are nearer, linkage is more. So, that's not enough for us, isn't it? We should do some amount of practice. So, let's see if some of the questions that have come till day. PYQs I am looking at. This is a usual question that you get. You will be asked, you will be given two crosses like this and this. The question is very simple. Study the diagram and predict in which case the strength of the linkage is higher. Which one will it be higher? Wherever the genes are near to each other. In this case or in this case, where are the genes near to each other? In cross A. So what will you be? Your answer, answer is cross A is more having more strength of linkage because of the genes proximity or the nearness of the genes. Alright. Now another question usually, usually that comes is why did Morgan select, um, select root fly or drosophila for his experiments? You can just read the answer. Now practice these two questions from your textbook and let me know if you have any doubts in from this part. Thank you. Thank you.